Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to go over my top 10 best EDC fixed blades of 2023 under $100. I have all my best knives of 2023 videos in a playlist on the channel. Go check that out. Now let's get right into the top 10. Starting with 10 all the way down to 1. Number 10 we have the Ares EDC pedal. Now I don't remember how much this knife cost and it definitely deserved to be in one of my videos because this is a little small custom fixed blade uh, made here in the US and made of ABL and very very nice contouring on this JG10 and a custom Jade G10 finger bead. It's just a nice little three finger grip knife, comfortable. I do wish she would ground these a little bit thinner. It's a little bit thick, especially for such a small knife. I like them to be nice and slicey. You know, there's I'm not going to be batoning with this or anything. So I, I put this on number 10, but this is going to be the alternative. So this right here is coming from Amicio. This is the Amicio neck knife. Comes with the ball and chain. That's how I tried to carry it, but I stopped because it started to get a little rattle. Because it is thin Kydex. Tons of lashing points. I could put an ulti clip on here, but this one is a, a little small Nesmic style blade, D2 steel, full flat grind, G10 scales that are bolt on. It's a three finger grip, and I know some people hate three finger grip knives, but I don't mind them, especially with my medium sized hands because I can get a nice little pinch grip, get down onto that tip, do drag work. And being that it has a low tip, it's going to be a very versatile blade shape here. I tested this one on a YouTube short, and I've done a lot of work with this. And uh, for the price point, these come in at 26 bucks. If you're looking for a nice little small EDC fixed blade. Number nine, we have the Kaiser Variable Warncliffe. And I even threw in the variable claw, and I'll tell you why in just a second. We have a ultra budget one right here. This particular one is the Stonewashed D2 with the canvas micarta. It's even contoured, and you just kind of put your finger up here. This finger goes right there, and it, it kind of locks you in. It's excellent for just making a little slash cut, or if you want to do a pinch, and do a little drag utility style cut you can open it up packages this time of year it's only going to run you 30 bucks but the one i've been carrying the most is the a little bit more premium one it's got a black coated blade with contoured carbon fiber scales on it and this one's in 154 cm i just started using this one i probably have more use on this one but i already know how it performs it's very lightweight you could carry as a neck knife you could drop it in the pocket right now i have it as a neck carry but i think i'm gonna put an ulti clip on this the more premium one's gonna cost you 69 bucks and i, I threw this one in here because talk about an awesome little package opener right here this is the variable claw all these, I think I said it already, Dirk Pinkerton designs. This one, they went straight to the 154CM. You got black linen micarta instead of the black canvas like on this one. This one right here is awesome. As you can see, I've been using it for opening up boxes for Christmas. You just poke that in there, pull it down, and it does the work for you. For, you know, just small task. If you had to get into a package, break down a box. These work excellent, and this one is excellent for doing those drag type cuts. Number eight, we have the Civivi Knives Typhius. This one comes with a leather sheath. You could do it a belt carry. I've been dropping this one in the pocket. I've done it on the belt a few times and it stays out of the way. Nice little button closure. They also have a premium version of this, but it's gonna cost you a lot more money. So what you have here is a 14C 28N push dagger blade, or you can say Transformers Unite. Boom. <laughs> and now you have somewhat of a fixed blade. I tested and reviewed it and yeah, I like it. That clip point is way more useful than a real swoopy clip point because I can still use that tip to do drag cuts. And as long as you're pushing through something, you're fine. You don't have to worry about it. You know, you're, you're holding on to it. This one's a G10, purple G10, blasted 14C blade. It sliced well. It held a good edge. It's got a pokey pokey tip. And this one's going to run you about 64 bucks. Number seven, we have the CRKT Graham Razel. It didn't have a whole lot of expectations with it. A sheath comes with a pocket clip. It's, it's like an injected molded plastic, I think, sheath which is not the best. So far, mine's still holding the knife in without any rattle, but I wish I would have made a better sheath for it. You got his signature razor blade crossed between a razor and a chisel. Get your chisel edge up here, your utility razor right here. You got a nice deep hollow grind here for doing the slicier cuts. 
It's pretty darn comfortable. I like the micarta scales. You got a pop of color with a red liner in there and the red pins and a little attitude adjuster in the back right here. Lanyard hole. That jimping works good. It just slices really well and it's unique. You know, you don't see something like this all that often. This little edge right here, if you want to drag through something and if you want to scrape, you can here. I don't like the way they did it here though. I wish they would have made that a chisel edge instead of making it just one big obtuse angle right there you can see down here it's not as useful because of the V grind it has on it and we also have a razor compact I just wanted to add both of these now I like this one a lot especially it's a nice compact little three finger but it, it the G10 is nice and grippy both of them full tang the only thing that kind of bothers me on this one is this stupid saw back right there luckily I can get my thumb right here but if you put your thumb right there, now it's not super sharp or anything. I can put my thumb there. It's very, very uncomfortable though. This is better in like a pinch grip. If you need to break open something like that or pull through something. You got that chisel edge up here. Nice hollow grind here. Both of these are in D2 steel. Comes with this little snake knot tied to it. Paracord snake knot. Number six, we have the Baltic Blades Angus. It's a very small little scalpel style EDC fixed blade, neck knife, pocket, drop in the pocket. I actually have been carrying it in an EDC pouch. It's excellent for that. You can get different color paracord on it. He does this and you get a little button knot at the end of it. I went with the blue and I, I'm thinking about maybe putting an ulti clip on here. But like I said, right now it's been sitting in like a wallet style EDC pouch and I've, I've been enjoying that a lot. Nice Kydex sheath. It holds it in. No rattle. You have have a nice little drop point full flat grind and it slices way better than I expected it to. You have some jimping up top. These are in Bowler N690 which is a pretty good seal. It's pretty similar to VG10. I find it to be a little bit better than VG10. Some people don't. Uh, he's running the, this at 60 HRC and I gotta say from the testing that I did with it, it, it held its edge pretty darn good. You can get right down on that tip if you want to, to, to drag through something. If you needed to make some fine curls, say if you were out in the woods, need to start a fire, and this is all you had, you can make some fine curls real quick with this. It's going to do it rather well. You need to break down a box, open up a package, you, that you just need to take it out, do a quick cut, put it back up. Number five, we have the Boker Mockery. So what we have here is Pocket Kukri. A nice Kydex sheath. I put an ulti clip on it. I've been really enjoying it with the ulti clip. And I have two complaints with the knife. I wish there was a better push off point because you can see they're using the holes right there in the G10 to anchor the knife. And it's pretty darn tight, which, you know, is a good thing. There's no rattle to it. But whenever I'm pulling it out, sometimes it can be difficult. And being that it is a kukri, it can be a little bit difficult to put it back in sometimes. But besides that, I actually love the knife. This is in D2 steel with a black wash finish. I get a, a nice four finger grip. You got contoured G10 scales, a little pop of color with the red accented liner. These are, yeah, these are numbered. This is 653, I guess, I don't know, out of a thousand maybe. Huge lanyard hole, you get fit a baby arm in there. Now, the thing that kind of surprised me about this, and I kind of figured this would be the case, after I did, you know, my normal testing and stuff, which it excelled because of that recurve, you know, when you cut into something, it's going to trap it at the beginning, and once you pull down, that belly's going to get deeper and deeper into what you're cutting. It's going to almost draw it towards you. And that is the same with doing feather sticks. I figured it would be good at that. Wasn't sure. I also took a small piece of wood to baton to do a little bit of kindling. You don't have a very big blade here, so you're not going to be able to do much. But if you needed to break up a little small twig so you can do some feather sticks, you can definitely get it done. The coating's held up pretty well. I don't, I mean, it kind of started to polish it right there a good little bit. And didn't cause a whole bunch of friction when I was cutting the cardboard and stuff like that number four we have the twisted assisted gambler now i know this one i think had came out maybe last year i don't know but i picked up mine this year at blade show so that's why i put it in this video and we got a pancake style kydex sheath i've been carrying it with a static cord wrapped around my belt loop and then dropped in the pocket you got a nice little spot to push off on it's got a nice drop point blade 14 c 28 inch steel i went with the canvas micarta scale it's very comfortable and overall the fit and finish is very nice I think these are OE 
OEM by Best Tech Knives. Nice contouring on those scales. Definitely go check his site out. Very nice guy. He was there with his kid and I was happy to do business with him. Number three, we have the Asher Knives Fixie. And I think this is the first fixed blade to come from Asher Knives. And I was super excited because they make some very quality stuff for a very, very nice price point. Comes with a nice Kydex sheath with a drainage hole. And I love the fact that it came with a little pocket clip. Makes it way easier to drop it in the pocket. Now, the only thing about this one is I haven't done it yet, but I need to swap it over because I like to carry in the front right pocket. But lately, I've just been dropping it in the back pocket. Or you can hook it to your belt. Got a nice little push off point right here. Nice positive retention. No rattle on mine. And it's got a pretty similar overall profile as the Gambler, except this one is more of a steeper drop right here. But you got about the same exact belly. This one's just a little bit longer. And this one has a stone washed cpm s 90 v blade and these are just a hair over the hundred dollar price point and i didn't want it to get left out because it's an excellent little fixed blade it's a good size it should fit large hands nice as well i still got a little bit left over it performed nicely it held its edge nicely every asher that i've gotten in the last couple of years has just been excellent for the money it's hard hard to beat some of the asher knives number two we have the vosteed mink and i handled this at blade show and i was so happy to see that vosteed was coming out with a edc fixed blade that's what i like most you got a pancake style kydex sheath i put the ulti clip on there you got tons of lashing points Nice positive retention, no rattle. You got a little push off point here and you got black wash blade with green frag micarta scales that are bolt on or a non-coated blade. This is in nitro V stainless steel. It's ground decently thin. It performed so, so well. I was kind of in shock. I reviewed this one, did all the testing I'd normally do. The frag micarta offers so much extra grip. You got two sets of jimping. So if you're back here pushing through something, you don't want to slide. It holds it nicely here. If you overshoot it, you got some mother jimping right here. Yeah, I would have loved to see a little bit by that tip if you're doing some skinning or if you're doing a pull cut like that. But overall, for 69 bucks, I think it's a no-brainer here. And that brings us to my number one favorite EDC fixed blade of 2023 under $100. And that is the Concept Carve It S. Man, this one was a wow. That's all I can say. So you have a fold over taco style kydex sheath. It comes with a belt clip. Love that. And there's not a whole lot sticking out of the pocket. I carry this with jeans a lot. And man, I like it. It's decently thin. This one has micarta scales. You got a little push off point there. And it's got that same core carved blade shape this one is black washed with these natural canvas micarta scales and this particular one is a more affordable one with 14c 28 inch steel the ergos for my medium sized hands because you get all the way up to that edge are nice and comfortable then you got this little spot to put your thumb so if you're pushing down into something or if you're pulling through something or in the hammer grip it's pretty darn comfortable now they are flat scales so they're not gonna be as comfortable as contoured scales but for the most part i found it to be very comfortable and if you look down here because of this cleaver blade it gets nice and thin this thing slices so so well and as you can see i've used this thing a good bit i've baton with it the coating's held up nicely and this my carter version comes in at 59 dollars, and i think 59 bucks it's a home run well i liked it so much that i decided to buy the more premium version of it this one costs $99, same kydex, same pocket clip there. This one has the copper infused carbon fiber, which I think looks stunning. They went with gold coloring on the stainless steel hardware. This one has a raw stone wash finish on it and CPM S35VN. I haven't got to start doing my testing with this one yet, but I'm sure it's going to be just as good as the 14C one. Look how nicely grounded it is. For an EDC fixed blade, that's what I'm looking for. You get a lot of pocket fixed blades where they're like, 30 thousands behind the edge and they, they're terrible slicers what else are you doing with them like this one i'm not gonna baton with this i could maybe do some little kindling sticks but it's just not a big blade it's more for doing edc tasks that's why i call them an edc fixed blade 
Just notice it's got a little black G10 liner in there. I'm sure that's just to give it the thickness they needed. I absolutely love this one. Both of them. This one, like I said, $99. This one is $59, but they have a G10 one that's non-coated. That's like $49, I think. No brainer. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. Here's another shot all the way from 1 down to 10. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave those down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute, absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace. Yay!